If the medium is flammable and explosive, the electrostatic spark is likely to cause combustion or even explosion. So connect the metal parts in contact with non-metallic through the anti-static device to the stem and body and finally release the static electricity through the anti-static bonding device on the body. So I suppose that you know all the things were totally clear and obvious and now I can just show you some pictures to clarify it more. As you can see, uh, the ball has been connected to the stem with the help of a ball with the size of, for example, two half of inches or even over. And you can see this spring here too. And the stem is gonna be connected to the body again with the help of this ball too. So I want to tell you that all the things which are gonna be generated between seat and ball is gonna be transferred and conveyed to the ball. And finally, the ball is gonna be connected to the ground. So anti-static devices between ball and stem and stem and body are assembled by a spring and a stainless steel bar, which ensure all metal valve parts are grounding. So you can see another picture and it's really similar to the previous one. You can just see that in another view as well. Okay, now I can just show you some items about the different parts of the uh, ball valve with the help of some tables. As you can see, the first item here is a body. Item two, as you can see here, that's it, is the bonnet. Okay. Uh, is going to be actually connected on this part too. So the three is a ball valve, or sorry, it's ball. Uh, item four is related for the level. This one actually uh, plays an important role, such as uh, actuator. Then we have the gland fitting. You can see the gland fitting here too. This part is going to be connected on the top of the uh, bonnet and fixes all the thing. Then we have seating ring. You can just see that one here left side of the ball and another one here in right side then we have stem the seven item here item seven is a stem then we have eight is related for the gland it was a thing that i mentioned that before okay then you can see uh, item nine is case of you know gasket you can see the gasket all these things are going to be located behind the uh, uh, i mean seal and the uh, next one related for packing uh, set, you can see item 10. All these things are going to be located on, uh, sorry, around the stem. Then we have thrust washer. You can see that. It's thrust washer. Then we have the bolt. We have some types of bolts for fixing the gland fittings on the gland. Then we have anti-static device. You can just see item 13 here. These items here and here are going to be connected uh, to ball and stem. Then we have stop plate, item 14, as you can see here, okay. Then we have retainer, number 15. Uh, it's going to be located actually, you know, uh, at the bottom of the actuator. I mean, the lever one here. Then we have the washer, item 16. And then we have O-ring here. And finally, this item is going to be connected to lever with the help of a bolt, number 18. So, for case of anti-static, you can just see that the anti-static device consists of a spring and a seal ball, electrostatic spring uh, sets. Generally speaking, floating ball valves consist of two electrostatic spring sets. One is uh, on the contact surface of the stem and ball, and the other is off the stem and body. When the valve is open or closed, static electricity is generated by friction between the ball and the seat. Because of the clearance between stem and ball, when valve stem is driven by sphere, the small ball of electrostatic spring sets, bones, which drive in the electrostatic to the valve stem at the same time. The valve stem and valve body contact surface of the electrostatic spring sets will export static to the body due to the same principle, will eventually electrostatic discharge completely. In short, an anti-static device used in a ball valve is to reduce the static charge generated on the ball due to friction. It is used to protect the valve against a spark that may ignite the fuel flowing through the valve. The ball valve with an anti-static device, sorry, design, is especially for the field like oil and gas, chemical, power plant, and other industrial that free 
that fire free is the important guarantee of safe production. I suppose that all the things are totally clear now related for anti-static valve.